Welcome back, baseball fans, to the MVC First Pitch, our set down with a Missouri Valley Conference baseball coach. It is Steve Holmes' time, talking all things Illinois State. And first, Skip, before we get to the nuts and bolts of the season, uh, this is your first, your fourth year in the Missouri Valley Conference. Now that you're more of a veteran than a rookie, what's your takeaway of the MVC? Um, you know, obviously coming from the Big Big Ten, which I was at Purdue before I got here, um, you don't you don't totally know what to expect. But I think because of it being smaller and there's only eight teams, um, way tougher than um, maybe outsiders think. The uh, the disparity is is really close. Uh, um, the best team can certainly lose to the, uh, the the team at the bottom of the rankings, and I think that with that, it, it's very unique in the fact that obviously with DBU all the way down in Texas and some of us all the way up here in Illinois, it's built north and south. But most conferences tend to be a little bit more east and west, and you know you're kind of playing the same weather, same elements. You're recruiting the same crop of players. You know, like in the Big Ten, everybody's kind of recruiting the same players. Here, it, it, it's totally different. Um, Missouri State's able to recruit, you know, way further south than most of us northern teams. And with that, it, it, it's a very unique experience. And I, I think there's really, really good baseball. Well, you didn't have to go far to play your most recent weekend series. And it went the way of Bradley, two games to one. Talk about your team after its three and six start and what it's going to take to kickstart them and get them up into the upper half of the league. You know, we um, we've kind of been thinking about that ourselves for, for quite some time. Um, we, we've struggled to win the series you know, we, we tend to go one and one and then we get to Sunday and we have not won. It doesn't matter who we pitched on Sundays. Um, we've had some issues with, you know, a little bit of the starting pitching um, with, you know, Jordan Lucier got knocked out. He got hit in the head against uh, Arkansas early on. And we, you know, we've had him back a couple of times where it looks, you know, really, really, really good. And we just kind of haven't got him over that hump, if that makes sense. He's kind of having spring training during the middle of the season. Um, you know, he had to sit out for a little while. And then when he came back, you know, kind of rehabbing that process with him. But overall, you know, we, we like where we're at. We got perhaps one of the best players in the league and Ryan Cermak in center field. We got one of the better hitters at first base and Jake McCaw. And um, we, got, we got a young guy named Jared Hart that's been um, absolutely fantastic for us we moved him to friday and every time and he goes out there he, you know he gives us a chance to win and um the, the reason we moved him to friday was you know you look back and the last two pitchers of the year in this league were left-handed they threw about 87 88 miles an hour and they had a wipeout off speed pitch we, we were fortunate to have one of those guys in 2019 and then um last year jeremy guerrero with indiana state you know basically beat everybody and um you know we sat there and looked at it like that that's kind of the right guy. So, you know, I think we have the pieces in place to do that. You know, if you can win on Fridays and then, you know, you got the guys that can hit like we do, you know, you're, you're in a good spot. So you've kind of run the gamut, gamut. Uh, you played pro ball, you made it all the way to the big leagues and now you're coaching in college this year. Um, your team, you swept Western Carolina early, early, but you haven't won more than two games straight since. So, is there something you can put your finger on that you haven't been able to streak yet? And what can propel that in May? You know, it's, it's one of those deals that we, we faced a lot of adversity um, early on. We had a lot of guys went on our spring break trip, which was week three and four. And we had 12 guys get extremely sick. Um, and then week five, we were at Purdue and we lost Sir Mac and a starting pitcher to COVID protocols. And then week six, we we're a little bit better. And then, you know, we just, it, we've kind of had that injury bug. There's been other things popping up here and there where you lose this guy. We've lost our starting catcher twice now to, to injury. And it's one of those deals that like, like you're alluding to where, where's the streak come from? Where, where's those five or six wins in a row that kind of get the team going. And um, we've looked at our team, we've talked to our team and told them like, you are extremely talented. This is the same team that came into Arkansas and we, we beat Arkansas on opening day. And then we gave them, all they could handle for Saturday and Sunday. And if you look back, it's probably besides Florida, maybe Arkansas's toughest series of the year for them. So it is the same team that was able to do that. But sometimes when, you know, teams need that confidence and they need something to go their way in order to kind of get that, that ball rolling per se. And up until this point, we still have not had that happen for us, you know, and, and that's the thing that all teams need a little bit of confidence in, in, in themselves and, and we, we need to get that going um, if 
if you have that answered, let me know. Text me after this interview, and uh, we'll uh, we'll implement that right away. We'll, we'll write a book and get rich. Yeah, um, yeah. Max run of home runs earlier this year when he was whole and was on the field. That was something. You ever seen anything like that in college? No, I've never seen anything like that in, in anything. Um, I mean, it was four straight at bats. Um, it, ironically, we we were at um, Western Illinois and it had rained so hard the day before that we got there. The field was just, you know, like it was a mud pit. And, you know, there was there was some scouting directors and people like that in to see him. And I had to go in and tell those guys, I'm like, he's going to DH today. There's nothing wrong with him, but the outfield is that, you know, detrimental. So I told one of our young guys who ended up playing, I said, look, I've been both of these guys. I've been the the, the key guy that they, they were worried about getting hurt, but I've also been the guy that just goes out there because the conditions are not good enough for the key guy. And I said, today, you're the opposite. So um, I said, use it, go, go, go win yourself a spot for next year. I said, obviously, I think Sir Max is going to play center field the rest of the year, but there's a good audition for you. But, uh, yeah, so he DH that day, and, you know, uh, it, all three homers ended up coming off the same guy. So I'm sure that, um, you know, I've, I've had some bad days in my day at Pro Bowl, you know, where you walk out and you go, like, what's going on? I, I'm sure that young man had the, had the same thing going because he pitched pretty well except to Sir Mac, you know, and the, the guy got him three times. Then we went to Kansas, and he let off the game on Friday night with another one, which made it four in a row, which, I mean, it was, he's one of those guys that when he gets locked in, it's just, you know, it's scary. Um, he is, you know, he will play in the major leagues. And when you get big leaguers on college fields and when they get locked in, it, it shows. And then that's, that's what he's done at times this year for us. You talked a little bit about your playing time as a catcher and you were a pitching guy at Purdue before you came to Illinois state. So how do you effectively kind of, divide your time or divide your attention when it comes to practice, maybe even games too, because you've got to be offense and pitching. Um, I, I've done a better job with that this year. You know, we, we hired our, our pitching coach, RD Spees, and he, he's done a really good job with our pitchers. Um, and it, it's allowed me to kind of cherry pick when, when I want to coach and what I want to coach certain spots. Um, you know, there's, there's obviously as a head coach, if you, if you see something not going the way you want to, you can kind of, get in and steer it as opposed to, you know, driving the, the, the thing every day. Um, I felt I was a better pitching coach when I was at Purdue than I was when I was here as a head coach. You know, obviously there's only so much fuel in the tank and, you know, I, that's why we, we ended up making that move and, and hiring our D last year. But so I, I think it's a little bit more of a, you know, being able to see the whole thing and, and going to, you know, picking your spots and, and kind of like in, in minor league baseball, they had the roving instructors would come in and, you know, they would be able to see something because you're not there every day working with that particular guy. And, you know, sometimes you can make that adjustment. So I've used it a little bit more like that. And, um, you know, just been able to kind of a little bit more hands off and then hands on at times. Busy week for you guys, culminating in a big weekend against DBU. Talk about the the challenge playing those guys that have you, have you seen them now for a couple of years. Yeah, we've, um, it, it'll be nice to get them on our field. We'll see how uh, our field treats them. I know at their park, they are um, very, very tough to beat. We, we beat them one time. We've, we've only been there um, in, my, in my three years in this league so far because of the COVID part in 2020, we did not have them come here. So um, it, it, it's, there's certainly a different club, I think, outside of their park, um, which is good for us at their park. It's, it's very, very tough to beat them. They, the wind blows out of their place and they certainly know that and they do a fantastic job of um, using that to their advantage. Join us next week as we'll talk to the other ISU head coach and that's Mitch Hannes from Indiana State. He'll catch us up on all things Sycamores on the next edition of the MVC First Pitch.